Gallows and Anderson or somebody, you know, <laughs> somebody I don't want to see uh, down on NXT. But eventually, you know, I believe we'll see. Uh, who do you, is this? Is there a rumor true that the Big Show is supposed to be making an appearance on NXT? Or is did I, I saw somewhere online today? I don't know uh, if that was fast. He was just or... on. He was just on Raw. I mean, uh, okay. Raw. I'm sorry. Uh, what was he on? Was Raw was he out last night? I yeah, missed yeah, that. That's I what it was. That. It was Raw. Yeah. He had a, a title match. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, he's supposed to be a challenge. Yeah. Do you think? He's, you, I don't think he's gonna. Do you think he's gonna? Um, I don't think that the Big Show has a chance of coming and beating uh, McIntyre. No, no. Uh, they, this is just to promote. Um, you know, the big show, show. Netflix. yeah. So, I mean, that that's the only reason why there was any otherwise. Did you watch that yet? No, no, <laughs> yeah, but I do want to see it. I saw the ad for it, it looks ridiculous. So, I do want to see, of course. No, I was going to watch it today with my children who uh said they were about to watch it, but I ended up getting busy too much, too busy at work. And Alistair Black and Bobby Lashley, this match was something I could have done without, it's so ridiculous. Uh, Alistair Black, he's awesome, Lashley. It's well, okay. actually, he's one of those guys. He he can be really good. He was actually really good in yeah. Impact. I don't. I don't think you were mm-hmm. watching at that point when he was uh, like, he no. was champion, But he had all the belts. Like this is when like nobody was watching it. Maybe like what like three yeah. or four years ago, he was actually like great as like a heel champion. He won all the belts. Just just the way it was done. He was actually like decent on the mic, which is hard to believe with him. Just, I don't know, he just seems like he was having fun with it, and now it's just yeah. going through the motions. I don't know why Lana's still with him. I don't I don't think they have uh, scripted promos in Impact, do they? It's probably, that might be probably the reason like why it is. Points and, yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know why, apparently, uh, was it, did Lana slap him in the face on Sunday night? Is that, is that uh, hinting at a split between the two? I don't know. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> why are they even together anymore? It's just, it's, 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 the, it's yeah. tired. I did see Lashley uh, in Impact. Uh, I think that's when I started watching Impact again is when he was just about to leave. Okay. So I did I did see very little of it. But Now, my favorite match of the whole weekend, uh, Dolphin Otis. This is, <laughs> this is one of those. At first, I didn't care. I said, oh, let me give it. It was, and I actually liked it, which I was surprised. <laughs> no, <laughs> I think Otis uh, does not get enough credit for for actually being a, a pretty decent wrestler. Yeah, uh, and but he, you know he he has a lot of comedy gimmick uh, entertainment in him. But like I said, I think he's he's definitely a better wrestler. Dolph was Dolph oversells kind of like the Mister Perfect did. Yeah, I think, he, but, you he, know, that's the thing he tries too hard and he doesn't have to. Right, he's very right. good. He doesn't have to like you know fly right. around the ring as much. He could tone things down. You know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, the one thing is, what is it? The uh, the hacker was re- uh, who's the hacker? Oh, I don't is know. It looked like Doctor Claw. <laughs> it was Dr. Claw. I compared right, it to the Black Scorpion. <laughs> I, comp- I compared it to the Black Scorpion. <laughs> it's like, it's like, is Ole Anderson writing this? Yeah. So, you know, I, th- I thought it was a little, um, because those, those blips kept coming up on the screen mm-hmm. for like a few weeks, for a few weeks, and all of a sudden that came. And, you know, I, th- I thought that was pretty, uh, it was pretty funny, but it was, it was just, it was kind of ridiculous at the same time. So this one, Edge and Randy Orton. I thought this one went way too long. That, yeah, I thought it was very good, except, yeah, because they went like 36 minutes. This is one. If it went like yep. minutes, it would be great. Yep. Then it, yeah. you know, I'm just like, all right, you got to kind of end it. And it just kind of just went, kept dragging, you know. Yeah, it's just like every time you thought it was going to end, it just went on for another yeah. five five or so minutes. And, you know, I, I like the part where Edge scaled the uh, ceiling, the pole on the ceiling for the elbow mm-hmm. drop. That that part I actually liked. But, you know, if you're going to have a last man standing match and you don't have blood, I think there's really no point in having a last man standing match. I, have a point. I mean, I did like the way they used like all the backstage and everything. But, yeah, but they, there should have been some blood. Yeah. Exactly. It was fun, but we got an entire tour of the Performance Center yes. for the second time, for the second time in a week. So, I mean, you know, even we got the, the where the garage was. So, that was, that was entertaining. The Raw Tag Team titles. Now, this, Street Profits, I thought the, what's the call it? One of the guys hurt themselves Monday night when he flipped over the ropes and just landed right on the floor. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the skinnier one. Yeah, right? Like, it, yeah. he just get caught. Yeah. He just get caught. He just, yeah, that right. was pretty crazy. That didn't look good. 
<sighs> Angel Garza and Austin Theory. These are two of the uh, two guys I really like a lot. And that this was this was one of the better matches, surprisingly, considering I'm not necessarily a Street Profits fan. Um, they could do some good stuff. I think it's the gimmick that bothers me the most. The the overhyped gimmick. Yeah, thing, it but... g- it gets a bit annoying. <laughs> They're yeah. better stu- to me. They're better suited as heels because I find them naturally very annoying. Yes, you know, yeah. so and the whole red, the the whole red cup thing, and the you yeah. want some yeah. smoke and all that crap. It's just oh my god, you guys <laughs> give me a headache. I'm getting a, they remind me of like frat boys, basically. You know, it's just I don't know, and I can't believe that they're actually like the raw tag champions. Yeah. But that, and they got them relatively quick uh, being yeah. up there. But I do like uh, Angel Garza and Austin Theory. I, th- I think they put on a hell of a match. A hell of a match. But um, <laughs> Sasha Banks, Lacey Evans, Tamina, and Naomi all challenged. Bailey for the women's title, SmackDown women's title. What would you think of this one? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm I'm not into these whole, like, multi-person, like, you know, title matches. I, I prefer one-on-one matches. That's exactly yeah. how I feel. Uh, I just find that it just ends up being uh, too much of a clusterfuck for, you yeah. know, uh, and the referee is just got to be all over the place. And for the fan, you can't just concentrate on one thing because another thing could be happening on the other side of the building. Either way, Bailey uh, retained the title, which I was really shocked at. Yeah. So I I, I I had a feeling that they were going to uh, take it from her. Uh, I thought it might have been Lacey Evans' time for her to yeah, get the title. Yeah, because it seemed like they were interested. They wanted to do something with her. Then they kind of stopped. And then they, I was like, maybe they might do something. But no, I don't know. They, I don't know if they lost interest in her. Uh, it sounds like they, it looks like they've lost interest. Yeah. I know, I know that they, uh, this next one is your favorite match of the evening. What's that? A lot of people seem to love it. A lot oh, of people the, seem the... to love it. The TV the Cena Playhouse versus... of Oranges. <laughs> Cena versus Bray. <laughs> hey, uh, what the hell do they call it? Firefly. Fire Front. Fire, Fire Front Front House, House. Mac. Got it. Yeah. I got it. And I know I texted you. I said, I wish, to, wish I still took drugs just for this occasion so I could uh, enjoy this match more because it made no fucking sense it's... to me. It was just like all over the place. It reminded me of watching some like weird movie that is just, it was just crazy and all over the place it, this is not what i i didn't know really what to expect with this like i sort of had like a night i thought it would be like at least a a normal wrestling match somewhat right in, that, in his world and maybe have some of the puppets around the ring or something but i didn't expect it to right. be like pretty much no match with the whole storyline with every single gimmick john cena had i didn't didn't see that coming. right <laughs> didn't the NWO did he did he make an uh, an appearance in yeah, the NWO I, I, uh, gimmick? I which what what that whole thing was with the with the Eric yeah. off. I don't know exactly what that's supposed to mean. Right, and he showed up wearing uh, in his in his uh, one of the alternate you know his previous gimmicks. He was actually wearing actual gear, not the yeah for the shorts with... like when he was a prototype. Yeah, yeah, yep. Which is uh, I don't know, but uh, they're saying Bray won this match. I have no idea how the hell. You know, Cena just disappeared, so I guess that's how Bray won, right? <laughs> I guess this is going to go on the storyline, right? I mean, yeah, I guess. I don't know. We'll have to see if John Cena comes back this week. Uh, you know, we'll have to talk about that another time, see what that where that goes, because a lot of times it's just the Bray character, you never know what you're going to get, really. And did you like the uh, McMahon uh, puppet in this <laughs> when yes. he's when he's on the headset when he's watching the mat when he's watching him, he goes this yes. is so much shit yeah he <laughs> was that and then there was uh, and then it was him and Lawler together right like there was the <laughs> yeah. yeah that was like it's supposed to be like the old uh, superstars or whatever that was funny and of course we have a new WWE World Heavyweight Champion in Drew McIntyre four minutes four minute and a half minutes uh, he. You know, there was a series of F, uh, Claymore kicks and F5s, and now Drew is the champion. I guess they did the best that they could do, considering that there was no crowd, and this match was probably just built up for uh, for uh, 80,000 people to watch. This is the second year in a row that Brock lost his title in just a, just a couple minutes. I thought it was well done for what it was, considering everything. Yeah. How do you think that Drew's going to go on as a world champion in the future? It's well. See, it's it's hard to judge because it's you know there's no live crowd. You know you can't gauge right. anything. But you know I th- I think he'll be over. 
personally. I like yeah, him. I, I, I like him too. I, I you know, it the, his first run in WWE it wasn't necessarily convinced, but when he did come back after, uh, you know, leaving for a while, I did think he had improved and he was, you know, a better wrestler. And when he got teamed up with uh, Shane McMahon, I thought that he, it was something cool. You know, it seemed like he, uh, he was doing something good that it, it like furthered his career. You know? He's it, another guy when he was gone, like I, when he first was in WWE, they didn't really care for him. Then he was gone. Right. And then he's another guy. When he was uh, in Impact, he kind of reinvented himself and he got better. Which and I was like, "Oh, this guy is actually decent." Yeah, I think at that time, um, I wasn't watching Impact, but somehow he did win the Impact title, right? Because I think that yeah. match, I actually, I did see that match somehow, but I wasn't really watching Impact at the yeah. time. Um, but yeah, that that I think Drew's going to be good as champion because it seems like he is really over because uh, the crowd went nuts for him at the Royal Rumble. They every week he came out, they'd go freaking crazy. So. Yeah, and you know it was good. What did you think overall of two nights? Take into consideration the uh, you know that there was no crowd. I think they did. Okay. I, I thought it was a smart idea actually. When I first heard it, that they were going to do it, I was like, I don't know. But then when you you watch it, you're like, okay, having like something like seven hours with no crowd, be it'd be kind of weird. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't care if they did two nights every year, uh, even if they did have a live crowd, because uh, was it new Japan does their biggest show of the year, two nights, you know, Shorter, dis- you know, not seven and a half hours, something mm-hmm. like four hours at, at each show, like a Saturday and Sunday. And so I think that it would be smart if WWE did that with WrestleMania every year. I kind of enjoyed that. It kind of gave you something to look forward to on both nights, you know. If they the did tradition. it, though, I just don't – I don't know. I mean, do you think they could do it and have it at a stadium with, like, that whole 60,000 people for two nights? Do you think they would – you know, the average fan's going to pay – you know, admission for two nights in a row, you know, like inflated prices like that. They'd have to, my thing is they'd have to offer some sort of package deal or, you know, like obviously, you know, with, uh, with everything like a, Mm -hmm. um, like a, a cheaper ticket for both nights, basically. You know what I mean? It's not like a, whatever, have a bunch together. The price is like a a discounted price, or you can have the option to go one or two nights, depending on one of the things that, and, um, they didn't announce which matches were going to be on which nights necessarily. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they would have to do something like that because you're just not going to be like, oh, I want to buy a ticket for night one and not night yeah, two. Yeah. You know, yeah. if, if you want to see whatever match uh, happens on a particular mm-hmm. evening, you know? Yeah. So I think that, that would be a smart idea, too. So during the show, they also advertise Money in the Bank is happening. I thought I heard a week ago that it was canceled. Yeah, yeah. I saw that in May, right? It's supposed to be... Um... Yeah, May, May 10th. Uh, I believe the date is yeah, but do you think they're just going to continuing continue with uh, recording pay per views like this? Like I, I, I think that's assuming a- they're really not going to have much of a choice, right? I mean, because we still don't know yeah. exactly what's what the mandates are going to be, you know, a month from now. So I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't tell you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's one thing. I mean, they still they don't do they still need? You think that they should still need? Do you think that the need is to? create content for the WWE network uh, I continuing so. I, they, they still want I, there's so much competition now with streaming services I know I was reading uh, an article you know for people with uh, quarantines and things of that nature people being at home how uh, Disney Plus how their uh, subscriptions tripled since that happened yeah yep. so, we're, we're members here yep. yeah so I'm thinking there's so much competition. They definitely want to make sure they keep people, you know, uh, even even though there are a lot of people at home, they have way more choices now, but I think they do want people to keep subscribing every month, you know, give them every reason to do that. They still have a lot of classic content. They have not released. I I just saw that they released some more WCW Saturday nights uh, with the the year 1993. I mean, obviously you're not going to, can, you you can't live forever off that. Not everybody's subscribing for the classic footage. Yeah. I I am one person that I know what's going on there. Part of it uh, to me, it's like yeah. the old the '80s footage mostly, and yes, yep. and and you know, current pay per views are the the two draws for me. That's pretty much it too. I'll go back and watch you know the '80s NWA World Championship mm-hmm. Wrestling. I'll watch you know five hours of that on a Saturday if I have nothing to do, and then. Mm-hmm. 
like you said, the pay-per-views, because I'm not spending $60 for a pay-per-view. No. You know, we're trying 